uh, a first attempt at a video, I want to explain some, some of the concepts that you've been working through. And, and in this video, I, I want to talk about arrays, lists, linked lists, and dictionaries. So starting with an array, um, I think you get the concept. You may think back to one of your math classes where you, you covered matrices. And so in a matrix, you, you can see here that I've got a matrix, which is, is uh, kind of a multi uh, indexed of array. Actually, in, if you think of a matrix, you can kind of think of this as a collection of four different arrays. Now, the first array in that matrix is just this. So this would be what we call a one dimensional array. You can see that these numbers, you know, I have an array here effectively like 7, 5, 9, 2, 1. And if I assigned, happen to assign this to a variable, say I called this uh, array to a variable A, I could refer to something like, say, um, A of 3. And A of 3 would be the, th well, in a 0, it would be 0, 1, 2, 3. So that's going to equal the value 2. A of 3 equals 2, or A with an index of 3 equals 2. So I think you already get this kind of concept. And later on, we may think, I just thought this matrix concept that you studied in math might have been useful. Now, the next thing, I think you kind of get arrays. And, and when we talked about lists, which is the next concept, it's kind of like a conceptual concept. So we might have a grocery list of, say, apples, grapes, milk, and hamburger. This is things they did to go buy from the grocery store. And of course, we can represent that list in an array, and I could call that array apples, grapes, milk, and hamburger. And I could call this very put this into a variable list of say uh, groceries or something. Sorry, my writing is terrible, but groceries. And then I could refer to say groceries of two happens to be milk. And I think you can see that you know apples would be zero, one, two. So groceries of two would be milk. So that, that's the concept of a list. Now, a list can often be implemented using an array. That's an important concept. But the next thing we're going to talk about is that a list doesn't actually have to just be an array. And so we're going to talk about uh, linked lists. And I'm going to do that in a moment after I check that this video actually is, is working. 